move to the next. Uh, um, <clears throat> glad to introduce Dr. Ahmed Al Ahmedi from uh, Saudi Arabia, who will present the case of rotational atherectomy for management of left main undilatable instant restenosis. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum, thank you for having me. Uh, I will start my case. Uh, it's a failure of uh, stent. So um, I am from Medina Cardiac Center. So our case uh, is 75 years old female with a history of diabetes, hypertensive, and CKD. Uh, patient is known case of uh, ischemic cardiomyopathy with the severe LP dysfunction, uh, junction fracture 25. <laughs> Uh, patient had uh, BCI left main to LED one years back after she had uh, an anastomy. And she was turned down from surgery because low functional capacity and multiple morbidities. Uh, so patient, she admitted with an anastomy, blood pressure was 95, heart rate 80, troponin reached to the three. Uh, her GFR is 55, hemoglobin 11, equal uh, the same as uh, before with ischemic cardiomyopathy and no uh, significant peripheral lesion. Uh, so uh, the high risk procedure was explained to the patient family and consented femoral axis was the plant uh, with the seven French at uh, this patient known to have uh, left main LID. Uh, a hemodynamic device support was ready. Uh, what we have in our cath is uh, intraortic balloon bum, so it's needed to be. Uh, anesthesia cardiac surgery were informed about high risk patient uh, for backup in emergency. Uh, so uh, the RCA was non uh, dominant from the previous NGO, so we don't uh, go for it. So we pick up a diagnostic uh, Jetskin left uh, five fringe and uh, we'll just and this was a big so with the first in, uh, injection, the patient having uh, hypotensive chest pain and uh, the ugly image, uh, what we have seen, so I pull back the, the catheters. So this is the image here. So uh, we take another non-selected to see what we have from the, where it's beginning. So it's instant restenosis uh, starting from the osteal of the left main to the mid uh, body of the left main. So we have an uh, algorithm in uh, this is stent failure. One of the, mo uh, the most common cause of uh, any stent uh, failure is instant restenosis. Uh, and we have uh, three factor under expansion or, or it's mechanical uh, like under expansion or biological new intimal or uh, uh, new atherosclerosis. So this is the, our algorithm, but uh, we, without an, uh, an imaging, you cannot decide what the pathology you have. So as a class 2A to do an IFAS, but uh, you cannot pass an IFAS in type of this lesion. So we wire the lesion and uh, we take the guide outside a little bit to give some perfusion and to try to balloon it. So we start with the first balloon here, the guide is outside. We inflate it. We inflate the osteal also. So uh, this time the patient have some perfusion. We can uh, insert our uh, our guide to see the cranial view, and there is another lesion. It's uh, instant restenosis is about 50 percent also in the middle LED. So we take an, uh, our IFAS, uh, sorry, it's, uh, I don't have the videos, but we can see it is mostly a new antimal. So we go with our algorithm. We'll start with the balloon, high pressure balloon, a shorter balloon to a smaller balloon as an algorithm or you have a modified balloon. The aim is to uh, prepare the lesion first. So we go with the 3O and we reach the 4O balloon 
and still the lesion is not dilated. It's not prepared and undilatable. And you can see here, this is after the four O balloon. And uh, there is a recoil. You, you can see the stint, the balloon is open fully, but there is a recoil in the lesion. So we step up with our balloon to get a cutting uh, balloon. And you can see it is coming out. It's very tough lesion. We try it again. So this after uh, this is the lesion after cutting balloon is the same. It's still uh, the lesion is uh, undilatable. So uh, we take uh, two balloon technique and one of the balloon is rupture. It's not working also. So we stop here and this is uh, undilatable lesion with the balloon. So we should go next. So uh, what next we have? We have a laser brachytherapy, which is not, I, I think, in our Middle East, uh, well, uh, to my, my knowledge. So we plan with the senior of, uh, of the CAT labs what we will do. So our decision was to go to the next is uh, Rota. So as you see here in the, in the algorithm, there, the atherectomy is is the third uh, solution for us after the balloon high pressure and the modified balloon. And I feel it's, it's a lesion in the left main. You cannot stay uh, a long time uh, in the left main. So we take a rotational atherectomy, bear 1.75. We, and actually we have seven French guide is there. We put temporary pacemaker as this patient is dominant uh, lift uh, system. So we ablate the new antima, you can see. And here to, to be sure the osteal of the left main also uh, ablated. It's just gentle and slowly and to up to the uh, guide how to use the ablation. So the patient actually, uh, oh, I didn't take the image, the patient have just been, she becoming hypotensive uh, and our strategy uh, to just, uh, okay, we have a good uh, expansion of the lesion. So we put the stent directly and we put the patient in entropes. So they will put the patient in the, because I'm running off the time. So this is what we have. We have slow flow, as we know, uh, this is a side effect of uh, rot ablation. We give some, uh, she's already on, uh, on uh, entropes. Uh, so we decide to do a kissing balloon for the lesion. And uh, we have a good achievement there. The blood pressure is improved. Can I have just uh, some seconds? Uh, so after that, we just predilate the mid LED. Uh, hopefully, alhamdulillah, it wasn't uh, like the, the one in the osteal. And uh, so rotational atherectomy is uh, the result of paper and the drug uh, stint in, uh, instant restenosis, but it's not a randomized trial. Uh, so uh, it's not a severe to use it, but uh, if, you, uh, if you have a lesion like that, so you will reach for it. So uh, there is some uh, paper about it, uh, and they to ICR with the single multiple stent layer was achieved in 84 by rot ablation. Uh, all the procedure failure uh, was were with uh, pre-procedure uh, MI. Uh, one year mass was defined by relatively high rate, high rate. So there is some papers there, uh, you can go for it. So uh, uh, instant restoration remain the most common cause and uh, using the imaging uh, pre and post will decrease this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed, for the nice uh, case presentation. Dr. Bombach, if you want to comment. Thank you, yes, that, that, that's an interesting one. I mean, the, the, the concept of rotational atherectomy there uh, slightly escapes me because you've doc documented that there is nothing for rotational atherectomy to really take away. 
um, because there's no calcium, unless we have misinterpreted the IVIS. I have a question. Um, when you did the IVIS run, did you make sure you absolutely covered the ostium of the LAD? Because some, one of the reasons you can have that problem there is that you're just a millimeter shy of the true ostium uh, with your stent. Yeah, uh, actually we have the IVIS for the previous also uh, CAT BCI. It was covered and we use this time and be sure it is uh, it's covered. Yeah. So because and that the image is important. Sec second question before the floor. Um, you did not do a shot after the rotablation. So, you know, it, it might well have been just the stent that solved the problem, which is what I would have done in the first place. So I think so. If you have no radial strength, then just put a stent in and... and, 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 and but you will uh, put the stent in uh, undilatable lesion. It's okay. Thank you. Excellent case, Ahmed. Good, good final result. Um, I didn't notice, did you use any mechanical support? I, I, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, we have just an intra-aortic balloon uh, in our cat lab. And you, we use it after we finish the case. The patient still one day just uh, on intra-aortic and she's doing fine after that. Okay. So, so just a follow-up, and this is my take on these cases. There is not such an easy re-intervention lift main straightforward. You know, this, you, you get lucky I think this case went well, especially that I use rotablation, but this case could have just went south in no time. And without mechanical support, it could very well get, uh, get uh, ugly. Yes, that's right. Yeah, just a, uh, yeah, excellent result and uh, congratulations. I have just two points. One is I missed the imaging. What did the IVIS show that it was undilatable one? And the second thing is um, brachytherapy is not available for Saudia, but laser is available both in Jeddah and in uh, Riyadh. Uh, laser intervention is available. Yeah, I thought uh, it's up to my knowledge. So it's, it's nice to hear that laser is available here. Uh, it was mostly new antimal. Okay, so I was going to mention that laser, particularly with contrast, uh, is quite effective. And we have published our series on treating undilatable stent or uh, severe instant restenosis and another paper now in, in, under review. Um, laser does work and it's really quite effective in instant restenosis, particularly if you use um, uh, contrast with it. Dr. Ahmed Lahmedi, excellent so case and excellent management. Thank you.